Thanks for watching Blitz. I'm Brian Carter here at White County High School with Warriors head coach, uh, basketball program Robbie Bailey. Uh, coach, I really appreciate your time. Thank yes, you. sir. Thank you. Uh, now, taking over this program, what was it like for you being able to, to inherit this team and, and in the first year be able to get this team back to the already secure state playoff berth for the first time in three years? Well, you know, Brian, um, I was here last year as assistant, so that obviously that, that helped me, mm -hmm. I think. Um, the um, the our kids are great. I mean, I, I they've been awesome this year. Um, the the thing that that I like the most about our kids is they play for each other. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, we talked about trying to you know build this program. And I told our seniors, you know, they there's these seniors have put more time in this program than I have. Um, so I've kind of given them ownership of it. Sure. Um, and we kind of did that mutually. Um, I mean, obviously I'm the coach, but. You know, we talk constantly because these boys have spent three years here, yeah. um, and I've only been here two. And I feel like the best thing was to kind of us get on the same page because you know, even though I've been here, you know, new guy, you know, so but um, it's been great. Been yeah. Really enjoyed it. And, and lately, things have been really great. Yeah. You know, you know, I'm not gonna jinx it or anything. You got eight game win streak. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I have that kind of power anyway to jinx it, but. Uh, eight game win streak, you got the state ranking, you got the fact that you're atop the region playing for a regular season right. region championship when you play against Lumpkin on Friday night. Right. Uh, amidst all that, it can be easy for a lot of teams to kind of buy their own press. What are you telling your guys to make sure they stay grounded? Um, I stole it from Nick Saban. I, I, we actually talked about it the other day. I told him, don't, don't, don't listen. It's rat poison. Don't listen yeah. to it. But, um, <laughs> um, you know, we got a mature team. We've got five seniors. We've got six juniors. So we got 11 upperclassmen that's yeah. played some basketball here. Um, and I told them, I said, you know, when you start winning, people notice, people, you yeah. know, you may get ranked, you may be in this spot, but if you really want it, then you're going, you're going to take everything that comes with it. And that sure. includes being recognized, being um, all that stuff. And um, I feel good in our, our, our kids. They 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 come to work every day. Uh, they know we we got a lot of goals we've set this year and um, you know we just gotta stay the course. Yeah absolutely I yeah. think I couldn't say any better. I mean it feels like you guys you got a good group of yeah. blue collar workers so mm -hmm. to speak that yeah. just want to go in and go do their work. So right. to those guys, Silas uh, Mulligan and Jaden Yeh, mm -hmm. uh, outstanding basketball players, great yes. athletes. Um, is it fair, for, from my perspective, I, I would say this is true, but is it fair to say that how they go, the team goes? Well, yeah, um, I mean, obviously Jaden's usually got the ball in his hands. He's the point guard, yeah. um, and it's key for him to, to control the game, and he does a great job of that. He manages it well. Silas, he's our, probably one of our better shooters, um, and when he's hot, he's as good as yeah. anybody yeah. in this region. Um, so as, as those two go, I would say so. Now we've got a lot of other cast, mm -hmm. you know, we got a lot, another cast of characters we sure. got, but yeah. um, um, it's safe to say when those two kids are on, we feel pretty pretty good. So, um, but you know, I mean, we're steady too. I mean, Cooper Turner's oh, yeah. played a bunch yeah. of basketball here, Reese Dockery. Uh, Probably, and I'll say this, I keep saying this every time somebody interviews me, uh, Jimmy King's probably the key to us, because Jimmy don't average a lot of points, but he's usually eight to 10 rebounds every game. Sure. So uh, he's huge for us, and he's our biggest kid. And, and we've got some other guys. Kenny Simpson's played well this year and stepped up. and. Um, just proud of their effort. Um, yeah, and, I, they, and I'm glad you mentioned Jimmy because yeah. uh, he is one of those guys that doesn't always show up in no. the box score as a heavy lifter, but he does a lot of the heavy lifting. Yeah, he does. So to speak. Um, just a quick backstory that Jimmy Jimmy's been Jimmy's been part of this program for four years, but he's been hurt pretty much all for you know this is the first year he's been healthy mm -hmm. um and it's been huge for us yeah so. and and you mentioned too you alluded to the fact that um you know silas one of the the better shooters mm -hmm. but you know cooper is one of those guys too he can have oh, yeah. three yeah. silas can get when you said he is hot i mean it's mm -hmm. like the hoops a, it's a hula hoop up there he's throwing the ball into right. it and then of course Jaden's Jaden. so yeah. Uh, the three-point ball, though, is a big part of, of, of what I've seen a lot of the success you've had. Right. Um, how much is, does that play into the game plan for you guys? To be honest with you, uh, by nature, I'm not a three-point guy, I guess. Yeah. Um, what we try to tell our kids is to get to the paint. And what I told them, we went back about, I don't know, halfway in the year, I guess, we went back and tracked our three-point percentage when we just catch and shoot it, and then when we catch it off a drive, and it was about – 
uh, 25% higher if a kid drives and then kicks it to them. And so they've done a really good job of doing that here in the last few weeks. It's, We'll drive, try to get to the paint, and then we'll kick it out when the defense draws. And yeah. um, they've shot it really well. That's really, I mean, we really, I mean, to be honest, we we're really not a three point. That's not really part of our game plan. But I've harped on, hey, get to the paint and let's kick it out because we shoot a whole lot better that way. And, they, and they've sure. listened and they've done it. So yeah, it's working well. And yes, this team in a position to, as things stand right now, and I know there's work to do, but a great position. Uh, you've already locked in a state playoff berth, but uh, being able to maybe host a playoff game. But I know that's not the goal for you. Just getting the team back here for the first time in three years. But what what do you feel like this team needs to do to make a serious run when they get into state? Um. Well, first thing, these kids want to win a region title. Uh, that's been the number one goal from the get-go. They want to do that. Uh, and then, obviously, you know, they want to make the state playoffs. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, they're having fun. They, mm -hmm. they want to keep playing basketball. And if you got a group that consistently does that, I mean, good things will happen. Um, but, you know, I tell them every day, you know, we've got we got to work. we got to work. Because, I mean, we're, you know, um, guy told me, he said, man, y'all don't look very good in warm-ups or getting off the bus. And we, we really don't. I mean, you know, we look pretty average. But the one thing I can say about them is they've played, they've played their tails off. Yeah, year. They absolutely. get after it. And to your point, they have fun doing it. Yep. So, yep. Uh, Coach, we've been we've had fun watching your team this year. Uh, congrats on the success you've had, and, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank I can't you. wait to see how it all goes. I appreciate it.